In today's video, we'll explore deductive reasoning, a common question type you'll encounter in cognitive assessment. These Sherlock Holmes types questions evaluate your ability to reason information and make logical conclusions. Together, we'll dive into some example questions, showcasing effective strategies, common mistakes, and discuss how these questions try to trick you. This first question has two statements we assume are true. Our job is to understand them and decide if the final conclusion statement is true, false, or uncertain based on the initial two statements. As we read through the first two statements, I always use diagrams or other visuals to help me understand them. Billy is younger than Gilly. The second, Willy is younger than Billy. Now immediately, we see a connection between these statements. Both mention Billy. This is the first thing to look for in these type of questions, as it helps us connect the information. So connecting the two statements, we get Willy, Billy, and Gilly. Moving to our conclusion, Gilly is younger than Willy. And as we can see from our connected statement, this is false. Our second question has key words to focus on. These words indicate the test is trying to trick you, so always check for words like all, none, or some. Again, we will use visuals, but this time we'll use a Venn diagram. Most mammals breathe air, so our first circle is all mammals, and our second overlapping circle will be breathing air. The second sentence is, dolphins are mammals, so dolphins fit entirely into the mammal circle. And the conclusion, all dolphins breathe air. Looking at our Venn diagram, we know all dolphins are mammals and most mammals breathe air. The problem is that our conclusion says all, but our diagram shows all with some exceptions. This may not seem important, but these exceptions make all the difference and lead our answer to be unsure. A lot of people get this wrong because they bring prior knowledge. A defining aspect of a mammal is breathing air, so it seems like a reasonable assumption. But in this question, you must bring no prior knowledge, and if it's not explicitly stated, do not assume. Our final question is the same style, two statements and one conclusion. For our visual, we use arrows. Letitia is friends with Roman, Troy, and Dana. Deshaun is friends with any friend of Troy. And our conclusion is Deshaun is friends with Dana. Looking at our visuals, we see a connection, but nothing explicit. We may be tempted to group these people as one big friend group, but that would be an assumption. It doesn't explicitly say Troy is friends with Dana, only that Letitia is friends with both of them. And as the question is not asking about mutual friends, and we have no way of knowing if the conclusion is true or not, our final answer will be uncertain based on the information provided.